Smartwatches, they're a big deal, and it's not uncommon to find them at Saul's. But the watches we're focusing on now are more about style, and in some cases, status, as Mike was showing us. <laughs> brands you can count on for quality and functionality. My status is not up to this level yet. Let's no. bring it all with General Manager John Deneen. Good to see you, John. Yes, it is. It, it is. <laughs> you're up there. That's... Should we get to this watch now, or we, do you want to um, wait till the end? You, you know, know, we can kind of move down okay. after a little bit of it. We can show the other styles right now. Yeah. Um, okay. But like you said, we'll save this for we'll save this toward for a little bit. Okay, let's start top. over here. What, what kind of brands do you have? Well, you know, watches? we every one of our locations, we carry everything from Citizen to Seiko to Movado. Then you start getting up into your higher brand names. Mm -hmm. Like you said earlier, a lot of stuff's going a lot to the smartwatches and everything, mm -hmm. but we still want to show the mechanical movements, the quartz yeah. movements. So everything we actually have on this left side over here, which is more the sportier brands, these are all quartz movement watches. Like this Tag Heuer. That's yeah. a Tag Heuer right yeah. there. That's an Aqua Racer. Uh, it has a leather strap to it. It's great for a lot of, you know, outside That's diving, cool. uh, swimming, stuff like okay, I'm that. I'm going to lift that out so you can see. Do you yes. mind, John, if I show the, the band right on that a little ahead. bit better? That's where the sport mm -hmm. element comes into play is with that band. So it's not like leather or even in some cases like a metal band where Correct. they're, you know, a little bit harder to clean. They're going to actually hold up like very cold. well, especially in the water, everything like yeah. that. Um, they're very hardy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these watches right here, like I was one. talking about, is quartz movements. Mm -hmm. That's a citizen. That's um, That's yeah. a citizen. That's a really sharp uh, piece. That's what they call the Nighthawk. What's great, you know, a lot of times people think of Citizen Seiko, oh, you know, lower end watches, mm -hmm. you know, they've been mm -hmm. around for so long, but not higher end. Yeah. These are great style yeah. watches right here. So They're what, chronographs. What are, talking, what are we talking price then? Yes. On, on this first one, the Tag Heuer. Definitely. So when you're looking at tags, definitely retail. You could be, depending on models, mm -hmm. could be anywhere in the eight up to $2,000 range. Okay. That Aqua Racer with us right now, you're looking at $500. And okay. the Citizen so, piece? And the Citizen piece right there, you're going to be looking at $125. Wow. That watch right there, list retail. Retail is about $499. I was going to say $500 yeah. if you wow. went to a well known jewelry store, Correct. for example. They might have a timepiece similar to that, and it would be around $500. You know, watches are one of mine. I, I just love them. They're yeah. kind of my forte, yeah. but they're definitely one that you have to watch when you are purchasing them what you want to buy and what you want to spend because there could be a huge difference from retail yeah. of three mm -hmm. to $4,000 down to about $1,000 if you're looking used. So you want to be careful and watch what you're buying. Well, some of these that you some have been previously enjoyed. Yes. Are some of them new as well? That we have new yeah. as well. So this Movado right here, this is what they call a Series 8000 mm -hmm. right there. This has actually been previously enjoyed as well. Yeah. But we've got great jewelers on staff, Candy at my 120th Street store. She's a rock star. Oh, if yeah, you it, look at, it's, it looks brand new. If you look at that band, you know, you don't see anything There's as no far scratches, as Nick's no. scratches. So we could make watches look brand new again. Mm -hmm. And that's what's great. And then it comes with the box. It comes with the yeah, box, paperwork it. as well. Yeah. That's a sharp looking watch. How much for this it one? It really is. That one right there, list retail is about $12.99 on that watch for our viewers, you're looking at $600. Mm. Wow. So you're saving a huge savings for quality name watches. Well, including Rolex, because you know, this Correct. is the other part about well, it, John. That, to a lot of people, right? Isn't that's that the status? Brand. Yeah, that's that's the brand. It. it. It's it's the status quo out there. And as you move down, these are all our automatic movements. So mm -hmm. not these, quartz, like not where quartz. we started. Correct. So they don't use a battery. So these you actually have to wind or as you're wearing them, there's a pendulum in there yeah. that will actually swing and wind the your movement watch. Winds it. Correct. Yeah. So some people, we really want Beautiful. them to be educated once you buy these because we've sold a lot of these watches and people have come back and gone, well, boy, I take it off for a day or two and it stops. It stops yeah. Well, it's going to um, because it's on oh that pendulum gosh. swing right there. Those but are diamonds in that bezel. Those are diamonds in that yeah. bezel. So that's a gorgeous uh, date just men's stainless with oh, almost a carat and a half worth of diamonds mm, around that gorgeous. bezel right there. You know, you go into a retail store, you're going to be looking over 10000 for that watch yeah. right there. With us, you're looking at $5,500. Mm, yeah. So the saving so is just incredible. Price, yeah. This and Breitling. Breitling. Whoa. I'm a huge nice. fan yeah, of like Breitling. Breitling too. This is a two-tone uh, chronometer. Um, it's actually lists retail a little over 7000 We have it listed for $3,500 right there. Mm -hmm. The chronograph right there is wow. those three dials that, that you actually see heavy. on the face uh -huh. right there. That's about a 40 millimeter watch. They actually go up to a 48 millimeter. So yeah. that's actually the smaller version of some of these that you'll see. Oh, isn't that interesting? And it's still of tremendous substance. It really <laughs> is. Yeah. Yeah. But I have a smaller wrist, so this yes. would be perfect for me. That would be perfect for you. And it really comes awesome. off nice. It's got the date that shows mm -hmm. right there. So, so many different styles that we have yeah. to offer from Breitling, Rolex. We have Cartier on hand as oh well, which is just gorgeous watches. Mm -hmm. We have those in men's and ladies. And then, of course, you get to, so those, that's our so Cartier John, style. we have focused so much on these luxury pieces. Yes. And maybe this isn't your, the first watch you're getting may not be a Cartier. Correct. Maybe this is what you get. 
when you retire or as a gift when you've been married for 30 years. Mm -hmm. We understand that. Do you have pieces for under 100 bucks, let's say? Yes, we do, and nice pieces as well. So we understand we need to cater to everybody's needs mm -hmm. anywhere from $50 yeah. on up. I'll so, show, I'll show yes. it, John, <laughs> just because we need to make a point, but I want this watch so bad. Yes, <laughs> it, it's a gorgeous watch. It's actually a Judith Ripka uh, designer piece yes. watch right there. Yes. A gorgeous, gorgeous watch. A watch that you're going to be looking for $500 over retail. We're under $100 for our viewers if it makes it out of this place today. <laughs> okay, I don't under know. 100 bucks. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if it will. I don't know if it so will. It's a under... great example of yes. what you can get for the money. I mean, this is still, it's no, I mean, the quality is still outstanding. Standing, even though you're paying so much less. You're, you know, and the uh, the quality is based upon, you know, who's making it and what type of movements are in there. Mm -hmm. And so if you do, like you said, you're looking for a $30, $40, $50 dollar watch, we've got some great watches yeah. that you're mm -hmm. going to go, wow, Fantastic. I can't believe it's this price yeah. okay. because of how nice they are. Let's Mary's eyeballing this for under 100 yes. bucks, right? Okay. What's so funny today Mary, is where our Mary, tastes lie, but I'm going for the more affordable. For stop talking. <laughs> Just stop talking. Let me show you this. Yes. This watch right here, we've been teasing this. this is we the have. The show. What is this thing? Is you know, this, this watch. For $110,000? We were very fortunate to actually pick this watch up. There's actually only five of these made in the world. It's a Jaeger Le Couture Reverso. Um, it's actually all in platinum right there. Oh, wow. There's over now, 200 moving parts in this watch. You want me to flip and this so, around? Yes, this I would love you to show. Yeah. Aspect of this watch, you take it like this mm -hmm. and you can rotate it. That's all yep. platinum? All platinum. And, and you can see the back, the inner workings. Can, exactly. Of it. So that backing right there, you can see the inner workings of it. You know, Jaeger, not a lot of people know that name until you get up into the upper mm -hmm. echelon of watches. Yeah. This is one of the big watches wow. that they brought out, mm -hmm. a really collector's edition. This is a watch for anybody that's a huge collector mm -hmm. out there. Just a gorgeous watch. And, you know, a piece that I'm probably never going to see again in one of our right. showcases sure like is, once again, it's 500 of them were made. Mm. And so this is a great piece, box papers, everything. Like I said, we we're very fortunate to pick it up. Don't even think you're going to be paying that cost what, right now. What there. is it? So, well, $110,000 so, list. 110,000 list. Right now, currently, we have this listed at $69,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are open to offers with that as yeah. well. Yeah. But it's going to take the right person. Yeah. It, it really is a watch that. I can't flip it. the back around again. There You'll you go. be. There oh you go. Oh my gosh, I can't. There's He's a little. Me so nervous. Can, oh no, He's perfect. As <laughs> you can actually see, you could hear that snap into place. Yes. So it will stay perfect. That's but just awesome. a gorgeous watch. Incredible. So, John, in this case, and we're looking at some of these other brands, where it's not that unusual out in the market to see fake. No. So how do you know if what you're buying is real? That is one of the biggest things. And we see a lot of times just in our style of industry, mm -hmm. you have to make sure what you're looking at is the real deal. Number mm -hmm. one, just like diamonds, we always tell you, buy from reputable dealers. Yeah. Make sure you buy from reputable dealers. If you're buying online, make sure they've got a good track record, but also mm -hmm. to make sure they have a return policy that mm -hmm. if you don't like what you're seeing. You're um, but you really have to, you know, these watches, the reason why they are what they are and why they are um, expensive, their weight to them, the movements mm -hmm. that are in them. So right. if you look at them and you go, wait, this mm -hmm. feels like They're plastic. Well There's no comparison. Exactly. You one of these up to an, mm -hmm. a lower end watch. There's you no can comparison. really tell. But also too, you know, you want to make sure the price points are right. If you see somebody selling a Rolex for $500, mm -hmm. be a little cautious right there. Don't go, oh, you know what? I'm going to get a steal yeah. on this. Make sure you, you take your time and do your research. So John, I'm wearing a piece yes. that is from Saul's. This is February's birthstone yes. done right, because I love a dome pave style. I just love this ring when we brought it in. Sterling silver, uh, all amethyst, all the way around. What I love about this piece, not only yeah. the dome and the pave set right there, but how comfortable it also sits yes. on the finger as well. It's and really smooth on the side, yes. so when you go to shake somebody's hand, there's no pinching. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Well, and you're going to think, boy, you're going to spend four, five, six hundred dollars on a piece like this. What's great about it? List retails a little over seven hundred dollars for our viewers. One hundred and seventy dollars mm. for, for that a piece look. Like that, for that for look. That look. Okay, I it will hand really this over gorgeous. to you, and I will show mm -hmm. this necklace. Yes. Move my top a little bit so you get a better look at it. <laughs> Once again, we brought in uh, actually a designer piece this week. Fourteen karat. It's an yeah. FE designer. E F F Y. If you want to look her up. Yes. This is actually a tri-colored piece right there. You got rose, yellow, and white. It's just a gorgeous piece with about a third of a carat worth of diamonds yeah. set in the white gold circle right there. Mm. Really, oh, really gorgeous. neat looking piece. So we'll have yeah. that on for the next week. Yes. Saul's Jewelry and Loan, there's six metro locations. Uh, and this watch, this $100,000 watch, you can get it for <laughs> A little over sixty thousand. You're looking right? at almost half yeah. of what you spend One retail, of those, but it's 120th and center. Yes, 120th okay. and center. Come talk to me. Oh, yeah. this is cool. After I, I didn't realize those all moved yes, independently. Guys, thank, thank you. you. Guests of the morning blend starts.